This is the only thing I've ever wanted. No, genuinely, like, I don't actually want anything else. Like, love, friendship, sustenance, like, eating and drinking and paying rent. Like, I literally don't care. This is the only thing I care about. Fictional digital wolves that I can play with in The Sims 4. And I know that sounds incredibly specific and not entirely necessary nor healthy, but I am going to therapy. And it is a waste of money. But is The Sims 4 werewolves a waste of money? I bet you're dying to know. And that's why you, you came here, right? Like, I'm, I'm here to tell you if it's a waste of money or not. Also, I am sick. That's why. I sound like this, but sickness will not stop me. I might have a little bit of a gaming addiction. Anyway, I'm done wasting your time. We're just gonna re review the game now. Before this review officially begins, I just want to show you this part where I bought the game and then it said I didn't buy the game. It was really weird. Like, here's a picture of the purchase in my bank statement, but it just says I didn't buy the game, but I did. So anyway, I broke Origin before actually playing the game. Oh yeah, and then I got a warning. I actually did break Origin. Don't ask me how I did this. I haven't even launched the goddamn game yet. So anyway, after that debacle, I just want to point out that the game pack is almost a gigabyte large for $17.99. Almost. We're almost there. Create a sim. With The Sims 4 Werewolves, you do get a couple of new hairstyles. Not a lot, but there are a few. Oh my god, it's my hair! The new clothing has like a bit of a tattered grunge slash country aesthetic, which I really, really like. Not these fucking pants. It even comes with a bunch of new really cute accessories, like these really nice rings and these like hand bandages and a necklace that disappeared in my titties. One addition that I absolutely love is more scars on your Sims. You know, just in case you want to have a werewolf girlfriend that looks exactly like Emily from Twilight because her face had scars on it because she was with a werewolf and it didn't end very well for her. If you think the Twilight references stop here, you are so fucking wrong. <laughs> Much to my surprise, male sims pretty much get the same exact stuff, which honestly is an interesting choice, but I absolutely vibe with this. Body scars, body scars, body scars, body scars. And finally, some new tattoos. Unfortunately, because your sims are basic and have no fucking personality, we don't get any new traits with this pack. However, we do get a new aspiration, which is the werewolf initiate. But honestly, let's forget about these stupid human sims because we're all just here for the furries. I mean the furries, I mean the furries. I mean the werewolf. Hey yo, where the fuck is its tail? Creating your werewolf in Create a Sim has so much customization. Maybe a little bit too much customization. Pretty much changing anything from their ears to their snouts to their claws. The possibilities are endless except when it comes to tails. Why doesn't it have a fucking tail? Also, don't change the wolf's face. It fucks everything up. Moonwood Mill. The Sims 4 Werewolves comes with the brand new world of Moonwood Mill. Why the fuck is it so small? Hello? Honestly, this world is beautiful. It's quaint. It's got this like gorgeous, grungy, industrial vibe. They managed to blend the tranquility of nature with the smell of actual fucking garbage and married it beautifully. Whoa, Polly Squirrel. What is happening? Build by mode. So when it comes to build by mode, there aren't a ton of items, but I'ma be honest, I don't know how many items I should be expecting anymore. I feel like it changes all the time, and honestly, I don't mind because what is here is disgusting, and I love it. The furniture is grungy, it's broken, and it's dirty, and honestly, I'm in love. I'm in love. I have discovered love again. I like it so much that I burnt it. I burnt it so much that I like. I liked it, so I burnt it. It's burning. I'm not going to fucking platoon. Gameplay. The best way that I can show off the gameplay in this pack is just by showing you what I did in my spare time. So fucking course I made Edward Cullen and Jacob Black and then put myself in the middle. What the fuck else did you think I was gonna do? Immediately as I got into the game, I made both of them fight over me. I kind of have psychological problems. Werewolves have this thing called a furry meter. No, sorry, a furry meter. No, sorry, furry, furry, fury, a fury meter. Basically, a fury meter is how many things piss off your werewolf, which trust me is not that fucking hard to do and if it fills all the way up they will turn into a werewolf against their own will so naturally these two immediately got into a supernatural battle ignore the fruitcake guy and surprise surprise edward cullen fucking won team edward fuck you the more you do things as a werewolf the more you'll get experience points that you get to spend in the werewolf skill tree naturally the first thing i taught myself how to do was uh piss on the ground this is nature's greatest predator now jacob was a werewolf that i created in create a sim but i 
wanted to see what it was like to become a werewolf if you weren't one already. I couldn't really find anybody to turn me because Jacob didn't know how to do that himself. So I found a werewolf pack known as the Wild Fangs and decided to join their ranks. Now, obviously, I wasn't a werewolf at this point, so I was just kind of like hanging around their base like the desperate groupie I was. <laughs> like, they're gonna turn me into one eventually, right? <laughs> right? So it turns out I'm a fucking idiot and I just forgot to ask them to turn me. Finally, I found somebody to bite me, don't kink shame, and now I just sit around and wait for the curse to take effect. Completely unrelated, but you don't actually need to be in werewolf form to piss on the ground anymore, you're welcome. Here we see the Wild Fangs pack leader Rory enjoying a nice meal while I literally sit and wait. I am waiting. I literally left Jacob and Edward alone for like a minute and they're still arguing. Oh no, Jacob, not again, come on. I would like to show you the quickest fight I've literally ever seen. <laughs> Oh my god. So when a werewolf's fury gets way too high, they begin to rampage, wherein you can't control their behavior when they're in this state. And so Jacob decided to howl at the moon several times and very poorly at that, and continued to dig. What you looking at, Edward? Huh? Huh, is it interesting? Okay. Jacob, leave the furniture alone! Are you standing in your own piss? Eventually, Jacob picked up some brand new skills. Smelling and scavenging. Basically, you get your dog, I mean your dog, I mean your dog, I mean your werewolf to pick up a trail of scent. You just get them to sniff around town, and when the trail ends, you start digging, and you get a pretty neat collectible. I also found some underground tunnels to explore, but it's literally just a fucking rabbit hole, and it, I, it hurt. I'm disappointed. Come on now. I finally transformed into a werewolf that is not my fursona. Sorry, thank you very much. I'm immediately changing that. My first instinct as a werewolf was to immediately destroy the furniture. Also, I put a mask on because I didn't want anybody to recognize me. Don't make that noise. Stop it. Don't put your hands where the piss stream is. It's way too close. Who the fuck is Greg? So is this pack everything I hoped it would be? Honestly, I don't really know. There were a couple things that I really wish that they put in, but this is a solid pack. There's a lot of good stuff here, which is really nice to say considering the last uh, one we got was my wedding stories and that one was, um, it was a thing. It was a thing that happened. I'm still not a hundred percent sold on the design of the werewolves. If they had a tail, maybe I'd feel a little bit better. And also I wish they looked a little bit scarier, but it, it could have been worse. I am ready to bend over backwards for the team that developed the build buy items. I, they, wow. More please. I don't know how I feel about the world yet because I do think it is absolutely beautiful, but it's so tiny. Like what, what, what was with that? Why you guys keep going smaller? You're supposed to go bigger. Genuinely what matters the most to me is gameplay and there is so much long running gameplay like I'm so happy that we have the skill trees you actually have something to work towards I like that initiating yourself into wolf packs takes a really long time like you have to do a set of trials in order to be part of the wolf pack so it's not a thing where you just ask and then they're like okay and then that's it I love that I love that you actually have to work towards something and the fact that you have your werewolf can be a little bit annoying to take care of like you have to actually manage your rage meter and you also get like a couple of drawbacks depending on what you do as a werewolf which is so good I don't like having perfect sims so I love that you get to play with these flaws I don't know being able to deal with your furry I mean your furry I mean your furry I mean your fury amazing gameplay choice but if I am going to be honest it does feel like there's something missing about this pack and I genuinely genuinely can't really put a finger on it. I said this before, but I'm still not 100% happy with the werewolf's design, but that's never gonna be unanimous anyway, so just like take that with a grain of salt, like it literally doesn't fucking matter. There's so many rabbit holes for places that I genuinely do want to go into, so it's a little, it kind of sucks. It really sucks, don't do that again. So, uh, <laughs> when are we getting a Sims Medieval 2? <laughs>